Uh, so I think uh, uh, as we're approaching six o'clock and uh, you've got uh, the drinks and networking to go to, uh, I'll just uh, mention a few of the points that, that, that uh, emerged for me today. So th thank you to all the speakers, the panellists, the, the discussions, the moderators. Uh, uh, I'm sure you'll agree that actually it was really stimulating to, to hear uh, this range of expertise. Uh, personally, I learned a huge amount. I think uh, it was also great to have a, have a meeting where we had marine ecology and terrestrial ecology in the same room, which doesn't occur enough, and I think it's, uh, there was a, there's some real benefits uh, uh, to that as well. Uh, at some of the points that I, uh, that, that I think I picked up today, and, that, uh, and we, have, we have the mission of, over the next few days and beyond, condensing this into, into both a policy brief and, uh, and a summary uh, uh, and other aspects. Uh, but some of the key things just from today, uh, one very clearly is that climate change is here. It's, it's ongoing. The systems that we're living in are under climate change. And we have very limited time to avoid quite substantial levels of climate change. And Chris gave, it, gave a month and a year to, 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 to the 1.5 degrees target. But, uh, 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 so there, there's, uh, it's quite likely we're, we're going to see a substantial change. But ecosystems can also play a substantial part in uh, in that mitigation target of avoiding excessive levels of, of, of climate change and avoiding the dangerous tipping points. And uh, uh, Bronson's diagram that appeared several times today showed the potential of ecosystems to be a large part of the, uh, of the solution. One other key thing that emerged, I think, in the impacts part is the complexity of impacts. If we look at the, at the simplest level in our models or our projections, uh, Things can look quite pessimistic. The coral reefs will be gone by a two degrees world, according to, 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 to the report. Uh, 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 the, the Amazon is doomed to is near a tipping point. But what seems to emerge once you consider ecological complexity is that complexity can add some partial cushion. Uh, and we saw examples there. So, uh, the complexity can be in the form of heterogeneity of landscapes, or it can be in uh, genetic diversity within species. These aspects, then, they're, 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 avoid the problem, but they give us a bit more cushion than our simplest projections can, can sometimes imply. So a key challenge, I think, on that side is identifying what are the aspects of complexity that we can perhaps uh, enhance or assist in, in, a provide, in, in helping ecosystems adapt to climate change, or at least to the immediate levels of climate change. They may not provide an ultimate solution, but they may give us a bit more of a buffer than we otherwise have. Uh, uh, another key theme that emerged frequently was that intact systems have a higher chance of adaptation than degraded systems. Uh, and so we need to look at preserving intactness where we find it or restoring intactness where we can uh, in both terrestrial and, and marine biomes uh, to maximize the chance of, of their adaptation to climate change. Uh, uh, ecosystems are, uh, have the potential to be a major part of the solution, but that does not... Uh, uh, avoid the need to, the, to tackle the ultimate solution, which is mitigating fossil fuel emissions. But in terms of uh, uh, the, the land uh, component, uh, ecosystems can be a significant part of, of that solution as well. Uh, there's a real need for real concrete examples beyond you know, the, the, the abstract uh, uh, conceptualization of, of solutions. And uh, we saw some examples emerging today in a number of the talks, but there was a need to, to really pull these examples up, uh, up and, and make them visible. And uh, I think as Nancy made the point that actually one of the challenges we face is lack of awareness of success stories uh, in, uh, in systems and uh, propagating su successful stories and successful models uh, uh, that occurred. Uh, but there are also challenges in these examples. Uh, scaling up is, is a key challenge. Uh, a finance uh, uh, can be a challenge. Uh, local social ecological complexity. We can have these macro scale assessments of what is possible, but often uh, the, uh, the social complexity at the local level or the regional or the national level can often add substantial complexity to actually Im implementing uh, uh, the, those solutions. And equity is, is a key theme that emerges as well. Who benefits and who loses from any particular approach to mitigation or adaptation uh, as well. Uh, and a theme that emerged uh, that... that, that uh, uh, Many of these adaptation solutions have a cost associated, but when we think of those costs, we also need to think of the valuing the benefits that the systems are providing. So in our calculation of costs, we need to think of the, the, the ecosystem value the, the, uh, uh, and look at the net cost, not just the 
initial implementation costs of many of, of, of these solutions. So there's an example of, of some of the, uh, 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 the key things we've seen. Another one that, that, that uh, uh, occurred just there is also is can we use some of our thinking around tipping points to also use tipping point approaches to move systems into desirable states, out of undesirable states? Are there ways, what are the key nudges uh, in a system that can help us move into those desirable states? So let's have some points to think about and discuss further tonight. And I think, uh, Janet, you wanted to also make a, a few summary points? Yes, no, definitely not. I'm the one standing between you and drinks. <laughs> <laughs> and so I do not want to add anything else. You've all worked really hard today, and I'm very proud of you. And um, we ha I noticed there's time in the program tomorrow for introductory remarks, and I don't have anything prepared. And so I'm going to save my summary uh, for then, if there's time, my, my summary from today to get us rolling again tomorrow. So thank you, everybody, um, for a really amazing day. And now we can adjourn. Yeah.